education we all know needs some reform. We need to get a handle on our education in America, but not through Common Core. We need parents to wake up. We need them to come together with teachers. We need uh, schools to allow the parents to come in and to collaborate. And we need to, as Dr. Sandra Stotsky said, start utilizing your very fine schools that are in your state. She was just here in January and told this to our legislators. Use your college professors that are actually in the classroom. Use your high school teachers, your elementary teachers, your charter school teachers, homeschoolers. Come together, come up with your own standards and get it right because it can be done and she's willing to help us for free. Some of the people that, that are poisonous to education, definitely Bill Gates, UNESCO, David Coleman, president of College Entrance, and one of the founders of Achieve, the drafters of Common Core Standards, that man never taught a day in a classroom. Not one day. And he wrote the English Language and Arts Standards. Mark Tucker, Bill Ayers, Linda Darling Hammond. These are some old names that have come to surface. Linda Darling Hammond is the writer of the Smarter Balanced Consortium, the, the second assessment option for Common Core. Pearson Publishing owns the monopoly over all the Common Core curriculum. Um, other people, Jed Bush. I had no idea Jed Bush was embedded with benchmarking for success. All the data mining around the testing is ridiculous, and I didn't understand it all. But this year, they have taken it to another level. We are in that uh, bridge year. That's TCAP is the transition testing. Next year is PARC. Colorado is uh, in the consortium of PARC, which is the Partnership Assessment for College and Career Readiness. It is one of the options for Common Core testing. The second one is Smarter Balance Consortium, the Linda Darling Hammond one. Guess who wrote PARC? None other than Achieve, the drafters of the Common Core Standards, David Coleman, Pearson, uh, Chief Counsel of State School Officers, the very people who stand to make and have made a lot of money off of Common Core and continue to make a lot of money off of Common Core. Park, and all the tests are going to be digital. They have to be done on computers. One thing I want to point out on this is that Arnie Duncan, your U.S. Secretary of Education, we're not tinfoil hats, people. We've been talking about the data mining centered around the testing and the devices that are supposed to be used eventually. Um, pressure mouse, facial expressions, I'll show that to you. Um, lie detector bands, which are skin conductive skin band, uh, sensor bands. They're, so if you go onto your internet and look this up, or when I get this on e-file, it'll be on page 45 that lists all the big money research people who are putting up the money to make these things happen. Bill Gates has made the lie detector band happen. Uh, things like this are being piloted up in Thompson Valley School District right now up in North Denver, uh, Fort Collins, Cooter area. Um, what the idea is behind the band is it measures heart rate, sweatiness, so when you're testing, um, Arnie Duncan says in his, his Bible here that he needs to know how well kids test and how they react to stress. And this information is being collected, time stamped, in real time, and it is actually, the federal government has privileged all this information through the state longitudinal database system that we agreed to for that federal money. They don't need our permission anymore. Teachers are protesting against this. They say that they do more data mining on our kids and data collecting than they get to do on instructing the students. That's why a lot of our teachers are actually, I have four at my high school ready to walk out because they're sick and tired of it. However, here's what I think, and this is my opinion, this is my perception, is these teachers and principals are being evaluated at 50% on how well these kids do on all these testing materials. Well, they've got to make sure those kids are on track so that their schools don't get deemed in failing status and that their evaluations will be elevated because these school teachers don't want to be deemed ineffective. They have a whole probation period. They can be moved to other schools even if they don't want to go. Effective teachers are telling me, in fact, one up in, um, in um, Littleton area told me she's been moved three times over the course since we've gotten Common Core because she's really good in, in the fifth grade level. Now they've moved her down fourth grade, third grade, and now she's in second grade. And so a lot of things there. But these items are for real. Um, the lie detector bands, I encourage you to look up. 
um, because they are being piloted out of Clemson. The expression cameras and the videotaping is going on in Thompson Valley. And so it's not um, make-believe, guys. It's here.